Hi everybody, happy Halloween. As you can see, we're in a spooky mood because we're checking out the games. Game show. What? Game show. Game, 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 game shell. Ooh. The ghosts of games pass are in here. Hi, I'm Jughead Jones, and today we're checking out the Game Shell, this little open source mini console. All right, it looks like a Game Boy. You've seen us build it a while back. Maybe I should have just cut all these out first, right? I don't know. Now it's time for us to actually play it. Now, with the Game Shell, it answers an age old question How do you take a game like this into a little console like this? Starting with the build of the game shell, you have nobody to blame but yourself if you don't like the quality of it. Why? Because you build it yourself. And if you're anything like me, you're gonna have one hell of a console. Look at this thing, it's beautiful. All right, it's all transparent at the back. You put this in, all right? You can see your hardened work right there in full display, all right? Got a nice little screen over there. The buttons, okay, the buttons are a little squishy if you ask me, but that's, you know, that's just me. You can always change it. Any, any way you want, it's modular. So yeah, overall, it's a great looking thing. And it comes with an extra back plate here. So this one has some uh, little Lego studs. So if you wanna put some minifigures, you wanna just do some crazy stands out of Lego, it's all here. It also comes with this extra light bar, which also acts as extra shoulder buttons for like, uh, for PS1 games, for the R1, R2, L1, L2 buttons. So that's pretty nifty. And it lights up once you connect it right here. If you got a lot of Legos lying around, you can always customize your game shell. With this being an open source console, uh, it runs on Linux. So if you're familiar with that OS, you can totally just put in any kind of apps that you want, take out some of the apps, it's totally fine. Uh, as we mentioned before, uh, right out of the box, the game shell comes with an 8GB SD card, but if you have a bigger one, you can totally just switch it out. But built into the device, there's already two games. First off, we have Cave Story. This indie game came out around 2004 and it has been ported to all kinds of consoles, so it's pretty much expected to be in here. Yeah, talking about another game that's been around forever, we got Doom. It's a free open source version of Doom, so it's not exactly the classic Doom that you remember, but it's there. So, how do you put in ROMs into this thing? Do you connect it up here through the USB port? No. It's this thing called Tiny Cloud. Alright, just connect this thing to your Wi-Fi and make sure your, your laptop or your PC can find the game shell. And from there, you can just drag and drop ROMs into it. And and there you go, you can just play games on the go by just dragging and dropping through the Wi-Fi, it's crazy. So easy. So, what do I think about it? You guys have seen me build it, took, us, took me a while, but hey, I got it running. Um, you know, for a guy who doesn't know how to weld things, I have no knowledge of circuit boards and whatnot. Even I managed to make it, make it work, so yeah, it's pretty satisfying to do that. But... I still gotta say, it's not as easy as like putting an IKEA furniture or building Lego, you know, it's still very hands-on and you gotta clip this and clip that, you gotta sand these parts. It's still more work than you think it is, so hopefully when, whenever they have a game shell 2 or something, they'll probably make it easier for us to build. Uh, again, like I mentioned, buttons are a little squishy, if you ask me, it doesn't have that satisfying click that the Game Boy or the Nintendo DS has, you know? Yeah, it just works. I'm pretty sure you can get like an Xbox 360 controller to work on this. Besides that, it's a very satisfying little console. A little added bonus if you ask me is uh, because of the screen, it's small. The resolution is about 320 by 240. So, um, you know, the game, you know, the ROMs that you get, depending, depending on what kind of games you want to play, it could look better because of the screen, because of how small it is. It's kind of, it's, it's a little bit of a visual trick, I guess. But one little downside to that is some games are built to be played on the TV. So when you play it on a little screen like this, the text can appear a little small. So 
So yeah, experience may vary, that's my experience. With the emulator built in with the game shell, you can play games from uh, the Nintendo Entertainment System, uh, Super Nintendo, even MAME arcade games. You can always add other emulators up until the 32-bit era of games. Uh, why 32-bit? Well, that was kind of the era where you don't really need a second analog stick and uh, not really space for a second analog stick here. So yeah, you can still play up to Tekken 3 at least with the PlayStation emulator. So that was our thoughts and opinions on the game shell by Clockwork Pi. It's, uh, it's a whole lot of fun in this tiny little package. So if you're interested, go check out their official page or even check out their Kickstarter page. My name is Jughead Jones and for GameHubs.com, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> if you're a one heck of a builder like me, you're gonna get one hell of a game shell. <laughs>